Hey, 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 what is going on? What's up? So I don't want to make this lengthy. As you can see the title, I need your help, friend. Um, and I want to get straight to the point so that I'm not like dragging this whole thing out. Um, I, I mean, it's already an emotional process for the reason that we're here. So I want to make sure that I'm clear, I'm concise, and my words are understood. Um, so that we can get through this in a timely manner. So, hey, everybody, my name is Tia. I am the founder of Justified. We are an honest, holistic, healthy hub located right in the heart of Opelaka. Um, we are, <clears throat> we are, um, you know, the first and the only full service raw, fresh, and cold pressed juice bar um, in the city of Opelika, but also in District 1 of Miami-Dade County, Florida. And we um, have really made some really big strides in our community, just being able to become a wellness hub um, of encouragement and empowerment for, for the people, not only in our city, but beyond, to know that access to healthier options are available. Um, again, my name is Tia. And just a small background about how Justifying got started. We were, well, I had experienced preeclampsia with my daughter. It was a near-death experience with preeclampsia that really got me on my own personal health journey as a result of preeclampsia and what they call HELP syndrome. Um, I was left with kidney failure and I was on dialysis for for a number of years um, until I got a kidney transplant in 2020. So I'm going on four years um, with a transplanted kidney. Um, thankful for that. And so my mission began way back in 2010 when I had my daughter and was just kind of searching for ways to feel better and heal myself holistically, right? I was already taking a lot of medications. I was already, you know, in and out of the hospital and in and out of work and all of these things. And I was searching for ways that I could just relieve myself of a lot of the symptoms of dialysis and kidney failure and side effects of medication and mental, emotional, um, and just spiritual, um, just brokenness, right? And so um, I began juicing after I found, you know, I just learned about it from doing my research and watching documentaries and reading up on it. And I, you know, decided to give it a try. And lo and behold, like it literally changed my life. It changed the trajectory of um, my entire being. And so that's how I came up with the concept of Juice Define. But long before it was an actual concept, it was just a tool for me to heal myself. And I was very transparent. I still am very transparent about my journey, um, my health journey and my wellness journey, my life journey. Um, that just kind of, you know, by the most highest design turned into a business. I operated from my home kitchen for about seven years before I decided to move into a commercial storefront. Um, by that time, I had a pretty good grassroots customer base um, just from being, you know, working from my home and from just being transparent about my story, being an advocate um, in the community in many different aspects. And so um, I had kind of built up this this grassroots customer base or this grassroots supporter base um, that really just understood what I was doing, appreciated what I was doing and wanted the support. And so that is how we got to the storefront. Um, long story short, I got I got the keys to the storefront um, after my realtor and myself just kind of went looking around when I made the decision that I wanted to move into the storefront. And this was in 2020, right during the height of the pandemic, um, where things blew up for me in my house kitchen. And it just got too big. <laughs> it got too big for my house. Um, my kitchen wasn't big enough. I didn't have enough storage space in my house. And um, you know, Juice Define had already been incorporated and we had already kind of built up, but, um, you know, we had grown to a capacity that was just, it was beyond my imagination. And so I said, you know what, God, if this is for me, then I want to step out and do it, you know? And so I did. 
Um, I took the savings I had. I had some family contributions as well. And I found a space right in the heart of Opelika. Um, this was before, um, th well, this was during COVID. Um, so I signed the lease and the lease, the rent was like, you know, comparable. It, it was cheap, right? Compared to what it is now. Cause you remember during the pandemic, I signed my lease right before things just really started to get crazy with the housing market and with, um, you know, with the economy. And so I signed the lease <clears throat> and literally, uh, about six days later, I got called for a kidney transplant. So mind you, I did all of this in the midst of being on dialysis and, you know, um, I had quit my job already. I wasn't working anymore. And so, um, I signed a lease. I said, I'm gonna step out on faith. I'm gonna use the savings I have. I, I'm, you know, my family was on board with me and, that is how I got the lease space. And that's how we started in the storefront. So it has been quite the journey personally and professionally. Um, I'm a mental health therapist by profession. And so it has always been my mission to be able to combine, um, combine mental wellness with nutritional wellness so that we could take this holistic approach to healing and not just isolate one or the other, because what I've learned in my journey was that you need both, right? It's a, it's a total body, spirit, mind experience that cannot be separated. And so it has been my complete mission to make or build you to find, to represent that, right? And because we had such a really great customer base, grassroots customer base, you know, I knew that my community wanted it and needed it too, right? And so that was my mission after I had stopped working in in the in my, I guess you could call it corporate, but after I had stopped working in the corporate arena, um, I wanted to, you know, see my business flourish in a way that other other companies and organizations just were they weren't doing it. And so I had a this grand vision. I have this vision for Juice to find that, you know we are like a healing hub, you know what I mean? And it's all about the intent that we put behind it um, and the mission that we set forth. And so, you know, up until this point, like I've seen so many transformational stories. Oh my God, those, these are for other days. I would have to, you know, it's too much to share now, but we have absolutely made our mark in this space and we have done some amazing and wonderful things, right? My team and I, um, we are a family run business. And so all of my family <laughs> works for me in some capacity or works with me in some capacity. And together we've kind of built this thing where we have created major impact um, in the Miami-Dade County community and beyond that, you know. And so, <clears throat> you know, at this stage of business, we've been in the store for almost three years, August will make three years. And, um, you know, as you know, with any business, right, like there is, it's ebbs and flows, right? And that's something I came into this business understanding and knowing. And so, you know, at this stage in business, although we've seen major, major, major growth, right? Uh, even my numbers can reflect how much we've grown in sales. Um, but it also will reflect that down that downturn where um, we also see the increase in expenses and we see where, you know, things are, <clears throat> you know, sometimes it, it gets a little stagnated. And so, um, you know, at this stage in business, as as I said, we've seen some major growth right over the last three years. Um, but we've also had a lot of challenges, you know, and so I haven't been as transparent or open in the business phases because a lot of a lot of um, the growth that you see, I learned along the way as with a lot of entrepreneurs. Right. Like sometimes it's like you can have all the book knowledge, you can have all of the um you can have all of the, the people telling you this, this and that, but until you actually experience it and you're able to put your own knowledge and your own wit and your own wherewithal to the test, you know, sometimes things don't translate the same, you know. And so with all that we've done to kind of grow this into what we have, and I'm very proud of where we are. I'm very proud of what we've done because we've done some major, major, major things, Um you know, at this stage, like we need help, you know, and 
I'm saying this from like the most humble space that <laughs> I mean, I'm, I've always been humble, so I probably can't get more humble. But I'm saying this from like the most humble space that I can. Um, as we all know, like the restaurant industry and we are, I guess, deemed a restaurant, you know, by nature or by define. Um, we we are a restaurant and as we know, like the restaurant industry, the food industry has taken a total has taken a total blow. Right. Like we've seen it everywhere from Red Lobster filing for bankruptcy. Who would have ever thought? Right. Like not when Beyonce endorsed it, <laughs> you know, um, and so places like that or Cooper's Hawk closing down. I think I seen an article about Cooper's in um, Fort Lauderdale somewhere, like closing its doors and just, other, you know, restaurant industry, the restaurant industry as a whole. Right. And so Juice to Find is a very niche is a very niche part of the industry that although in the health and wellness industry as a whole is is very, doing very well right because everybody capitalizing off health and wellness in some shape or form right it's a you know over 60 billion dollar industry trillion dollar industry right um but then when you merge health and wellness with um restaurant or food things can get a little muddy right and so you know that's where we are it's kind of like you know are the sales translating and so when i say we need your help like these are the things that always that often come to mind for me is you know how can we increase sales and we we do every form of marketing that we can think of as it pertains to um getting our name out there like even for my personal brand or my personal experience, just, you know, from speaking engagements to, um, you know, just community networking and partnering, right? We built a, a really solid social capital base just with the community in general and the community at large um, through all of the types of marketing avenues you can think of for a business, um, you know, over the three years, it just kind of, you know, we need more, right? And so what is it that we need? Like, we need capital. And I think that's what it boils down to. And, and money is is a tool, right? It's a, it's a resource, right? So yes, money is not the end all be all. However, it's the main thing that we need in order to sustain and essentially to keep our doors open. And so the last thing I want to do is, you know, close the doors to Juice to Find because it's bigger than just me. Like, I don't even see this as for me anymore. It's like, it's beyond that point. And so um, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a hard role. Like, I, I know the promise on my life and I know that because I'm here, it is for other people. It is for my community. It is for a bigger purpose or a larger purpose. And so I know regardless of what happens, I have a piece that I'll be OK personally. Right. Or I have a piece that um, my purpose doesn't stop. Right. But the point is that Juice Define has literally become a, a place of healing and a place of, um, you know, physical emotional refuge for my community, right? And I won't downplay that because it is what it is. And we need this in our community. And I'm not just saying that for me, I can just attest to how many people, which how we've kept the doors open for so long is because so many people tell us that every day. So many people tell us every day, like, I'm so glad you're here. Like, we need this. Like, we, you know, like, it ain't nothing like this around. Like, this is what our community needs. And I believe it, right? Even when I thought it was about me, I knew that this was something I wanted to be able to do. I wanted to be that change that we didn't have in our community at the time or even now. You know, we're more than just a, a restaurant or a juice bar that sells juice. We are or we've created an environment from our customer service to our consistent product to the value of our product. Um, we've created something so unique and so necessary, especially in a time like this. So I won't downplay that at all. Right. Like that ain't debatable for me. But we need support. We need more support. 
because we, we get support. We need more support, right, in the form of sales. And that translates to how do we keep the doors open and keep the mission and the vision of Juice Defined alive and well, right? And not as a personal brand, because that's something that in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, well, we can always just turn it into a personal brand and keep the purpose and the mission going. But that's not what this is supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be... Um, it's supposed to be um, a safe haven for the community. And so what do we need? Like, I'm asking for support, like, and we're not asking for handouts. Like, we get it for real, you know, like from the from the bottom of the ground to where we are now, Juice Define was built from a God-given vision, right? So we've worked our behinds off to get Juice Define to where it is. And so right now it's in a space where, you know, I don't know that I've carried it as far as I could take it pro pro um, professionally. And so, um, you know, we need that support. And so I'm asking, you know, donations are welcome. I'm, I'm not above donations. <laughs> you know, I won't turn them away. But I more or less want you all to support us by purchasing something. So into us by purchasing something, our products are value, are are of value. You know, we offer so many different things, and so we need that support in the form of sales, right? Like revenue boost. Like this is a legitimate business, right? This is not a charity case, you know. But we need <laughs> we need charity, right? And so, um, you know, we need the sales. And so I want to be able to put down several ways that you can support us, right, from if you're not located in the South Florida area, you can purchase our digital material. We have did so much digital material from wellness challenges to ebooks. Um, we have so many products. If you're located in the Miami-Dade County area or the Broward County area, we, we have our personal delivery service. We're on the um, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, um, food delivery services. Um, order something, right? We have so many different products and we have so many different um, programs that you can buy into. We got a year-long juice program. We have a 21-day juice program, a seven-day juice program, three days, whatever your hearts desire. Like, we're going to fill them orders. <laughs> One thing we're going to do is we're going to fill them orders. And as the founder and the um, the operating manager, like, I'm, I'm going to show up. That's one thing about me. Like, I'm going to show up. You know, my team goes to show up. I'm going to make sure my team shows up and continues to show up. But we need those sales. And we would love, love, love for you to support us in a way that translates to, that translates to revenue so that we can continue to do the work that we've been doing. Um, I've also been pushing my personal brand to um, expand um, just beyond coaching, but to also expand to um to, you know, public speaking and, you know, podcasting and, you know, doing other things that will always drive eyes back to the brand of Juice Define, right? My story is not in vain and it's not only for me. And so I use that to bring so much awareness to Juice Define because, again, we can't separate the spirit from the body, from the mind, like it's all interconnected. And so the first way that we start to fuel ourselves is by um, being able to, to eat better, right? Being able to feed ourselves the proper things so we can thrive in other ways. So, you know, I make no, no qualms about the fact that we, we are necessary and we need your help. And so I would love for you to support us. I have links below on how that can be done. Um, I said I was going to try to make it through this video without crying. I think I'm almost there. But um, keeping the doors open is important. You know what I mean? And I have so much vision for the company, for the brand. Um, we're just now rolling out um, our investment opportunities, our franchise opportunities, um, because this is where I envision it juice to find from the very beginning of moving into our storefront. It was about being able to scale and grow. And so 
yes, our one location has made a lot of strides, but we can go a lot further. And so serious investors, right? People ask me all the time, like, are are you franchising? Are you open to doing a franchise? Are you open to? And, and we are. But recognize that it is a business in its growing stages and we have to be able to substantiate that before we take that leap. And so I'm reaching out to you as a part of our immediate community to be able to support us in keeping this mission going, support us in making this an undeniable brand um, <clears throat> that continues to grow. So um, we're opening up our investment opportunities and that looks a number of ways. Like we're not just looking for capital. Yes, that's a resource and that's a tool for us to grow. But serious investors, um, we actually want you to come with with experience or some type of um, other value that will help us grow. Right. That can um, complement what myself as the founder and my team brings so that we can get in the right spaces and we can get to the right ears and the right eyes so that we can grow efficiently um and safely right and we're not doing things out of order so I, we are accepting investors like if you're serious about investing in this brand and you support what this brand looks like or you can appreciate what this brand is about. Um, but even more, like if you if you don't know who we are, if you have never seen us around or don't know what we do. Right. If you hear our story and believe that this is something that is worth you pouring into or investing to in. Um, I would gladly love to have a conversation and just see what that looks like um, and how we can work together to make this thing like the best wellness brand out of Dade County. OK, um, franchise opportunities will be coming soon um, as we you know, continue to, to grow and, and continue to um, have that proof of um, that proof of stability. Right. And so we want to be able to franchise so other people can take this same concept that we have and that we built from literally zero and and maximize it to its fullest potential. Um, I know that it can be done. I know that I wasn't given this vision for nothing. And so having your support means a lot. So I'm going to put down in the comments, I mean, the comments I'm going to put down in our um description box all the ways that you can support please i'm sending this out to my immediate community first because i truly believe that you all have already have already sown into us in so many ways or bought into what justify has the potential to be so if you have anybody that you can share this video with you can share the direct link with them if you know that there's somebody who's serious or you know somebody who's willing to invest in, and pour into us as a mentor as a, a financier as a um just as a willing vessel um send them our way right because we need this so with that being said um, y'all check out the link, the links below ways that you can support, like run them numbers up for us. If you purchasing any product from us, we will make, we absolutely will make sure that that product is fulfilled. Um, if you're not local again, you can absolutely purchase any of our digital materials that goes a long way, <laughs> right? It goes a long way. Um, and then I'll also put a link for donation down in the description box as well feel free to share that link with anybody who you believe will be serious about helping us push this mission forward um we need y'all justify need y'all so i am reaching out to you all in hopes that this reaches the right ears at the right time and that you know you feel led you feel led to to sow into us and support us in a way that will allow us to keep growing, allow us to keep our doors open and allow us to continue with the mission of um, just being a healing hub and a healing agent and a healing brand in this community. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I thank y'all in advance, right? Because this was very vulnerable and hard to do. Um, but I've been 10 toes down with this brand from day one even when God gave it to me as a vision and I didn't know how it was going to get done, we made it to this point. <laughs> so, you know, I know that it's, it can be done. 
And I know that it can go further, especially since the mission has not been completely fulfilled. So with that being said, I will drop everything down below. Y'all click any of the link that speaks to you. Any amount of help would be um, greatly appreciated. And I will come back later with some updates and I will let y'all know exactly how we're doing and where we're going and just keep you posted on the progress um, as things kind of move forward. All right.